What's up guys, it's Miniman here for Combat Evolved. I'm just bringing you a little gameplay commentary today. So this is a little bit of SWAT. So I've been playing a bit more SWAT recently. Um, I kind of like SWAT. You know, I don't, I'm don't. i not a massive fan of the Magnums and the DMRs. They're okay, but I prefer the BR starts. But either way, this game uh, is fairly high level and I go 25 and 7. Um, so I was pretty pretty happy with this game. Although, although, you know, I hadn't played much SWAT until I started playing, you know, these games. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is pretty nice. So I actually got off to a really good start in this game. And um, in the middle, things get a little bit patchy. And then I, I finish the game, the last five kills, when we have 45. Um, I, I get a kill tag for the last five kills. So stick around for that. Um, so I'm just going to talk through a few, of the, uh, a few of the things I do. A few of the things I'm thinking. A few of the mistakes I make. So this is a nice little move here. This guy thinks I've dropped down. I just clamber straight back up and kill him. Look for the next guy. And like within like 50 seconds of the game starting, I think I'm already on like seven kills um, before I get taken out there. So that's a pretty nice example of sometimes in SWAT, you, you get into like a really nice little run. You get into like a good rhythm where you're just sort of moving around, just like destroying everyone. And as soon as you get killed, you sort of get taken out of that rhythm a little bit. So that's, uh, that's kind of what happens to me right here because you know, when you're, when you're jumping around and you're killing, you're sort of aware of, like, where people are going to be spawning because you're the one who's kind of controlling it. Whereas you get into this situation, which I'm in now, um, where you kind of spawn, and, okay, I've spawned in tower, and I'm sort of in that situation where it's like, well, you know, I look around the map, and it's kind of like all my teammates are in tower with me, or wherever I spawn is obviously where my teammates already are. Um, and so it's it's harder to know where to move out of, and so you can get that. But once you once you break out of that little cycle, um, then you sort of get into the rhythm again. So obviously I pick up an AFK guy there as well. And so this time I've managed to start off quite well. I've managed to get three kills, and again now I'm sort of back in the rhythm again. So I'm, I'm looking for this guy down here now. Um, so hopefully you can kind of see what I mean um, by that. Really, it's just the fact that when you're jumping around, you're, you're more controlling the pace, um, whereas when you spawn in SWAT. You just get kind of stuck some, sometimes, anyway. It depends how well your teammates are spread out, but oftentimes, you know, you, you'll kind of get stuck and then uh, you, you don't really know where to push out. And so it's quite hard, especially if all your teammates are kind of in the place that you spawned and they're, and they're not well spread out. And you have to be especially careful of that in DMRs, actually, because obviously the range of the DMR is pretty much across, you know, any of the arena maps. So you have to be really careful about where you're going to push out. Um, what I'm saying now applies less so to Magnums because obviously the range of the Magnum is, is nowhere near as much. You know, like if you're stuck in the, base, um, in the base on Truth, for example, you know, you try and push out in DMRs. And, you know, unless your teammates have a bit of map control, it can be really hard because, you know, you can be shot from anywhere. But, you know, you can't shoot a Magnum across Truth, so it's, it's really not the same. Um... Yeah, so I hope you've been enjoying this gameplay so far. We're about midway through the game. Um, I've had a, again, gone through a bit of a, a slow stage now, but as you can see, I'm, I'm pushing around the map now with a lot more confidence now that I kind of haven't really died in a while. Uh, this guy makes a really stupid play, actually. I don't really know what uh, what he was doing. Just kind of <laughs> sits in that corner. I have, I have no idea. But you can just see kind of, um, you know, the confidence that you, you get once you start moving around the map. And I think if you try and play SWAT in a really sort of like, you know, scared way where you're like scared to push out and stuff, you won't really get very far. Like, you can do it for a bit. Like, you have to be a bit cautious. Maybe when, you, like I say, when you first spawn and maybe all your teammates are, are in the same place, like, maybe you have to be a bit cautious and just try and pick off that first kill. But I think it's quite important to play SWAT with a lot of confidence and just try and move the, around the map quite freely. You can see me looking around now and I'm thinking, well, these guys must be in sort of red and, and security in that kind of area. Sure enough, I kill one and actually another, another one kills me from bottom red. But, you know, you can tell from where your teammates are on the map where the other team are roughly going to be. As soon as I spawned there, I saw all my teammates were on red side, so I go straight over to blue. I know like 100% there's going to be someone over here because all my teammates are on the other side of the map. You know, it's really simple stuff, and that, and actually, there's another guy there as well who ends up getting the back smack on me. So, you know, I'm looking in kind of the right places. I just maybe made a little bit of a misplay in, in not expecting there to be a second guy. Same again there. So I spawn. Um, I see, a, I see a couple of guys sort of straight away. A couple of sloppy shots from me, um, and I'm thinking, I don't know where that guy's gone. So obviously, he ran off somewhere. Um, and there you go, Milkman picks him up, picks up a couple of kills. And now I'm thinking same again. All my teammates are over there. There must be a guy here. There is. But now I've got a teammate spawning in blue. So they must be in security. Yep, there they are. Pick up these guys there. Again, not sure what they're doing. And that's the... They're, just then they're having the issue, really, that I was having earlier. In the sense that, you know, they kind of got stuck. So here we go. Coming up to the end of the game now. And I'm going to pick up a few nice kills here. Just constantly looking for the spawners. Get the overkill there, come back, there's the guy for the kill tack, and there's the finish. So I end up going 25 and 7 in a really dominant game. 
um, pretty quick as well. Um, but there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, stay tuned for more Halo content, and I'll see you later.